Last night, I had yet another 17 girls murdered in my ward. Are we doing anything to be engaged and resolve these problems? The Minneapolis City Council wasted no time getting straight to the point Tuesday, questioning Police Chief Madaria Arredondo during a meeting to discuss troubling crime trends in the city. We don't need a report to know that crime is up. We don't need to know how the just the brazenness of crime um, in the 11th Ward is, has just gone up. From carjackings and shootings to street racing. Crime is plaguing the city, leaving many feeling helpless and in some cases misinformed. How do we get this under control? If you're telling us and the inspectors are telling us that we have a plan for safety, that we are taking crime seriously, and we have officers on the street telling people that they're not enforcing crime, what do we do? We are not turning a blind eye to crime or criminal behavior, and that we will be there and continue to be there for our community. $185 million was allocated to help Minneapolis police with public safety, and the council wants there to be some accountability. What is your vision and what is your strategy? If you are you know, in charge of MPD and have a set amount of budget with a set amount of officers, how are you going to keep people safe? We have violence interrupters uh, that will be um, activated throughout our city. With homicides already surpassing last year's total, Chief Arredondo says it's going to take an all hands on deck approach to keep the city streets safe. We have to leverage our partners. We're working with our Hennepin County Sheriff's Office, Violent Offender Task Force team. We're working with the Metro Transit, Chief Rizal's teams. Now, there were some questions raised about officers responding to the area of 38th in Chicago, and Chief Arredondo says while they do face many challenges when responding to that area, he says every officer took an oath to serve this city in its entirety, and he says if they get a call at 38th in Chicago, they will respond accordingly. Back to you. Here's a by-the-numbers look at where crime stands in the city. So far, there have been 59 homicides this year. The latest, just yesterday, left a 17-year-old boy dead. The shooting death puts us well above the total number of homicides in all of 2019, and at the highest point in a decade. More than 400 other people have been shot in the city so far this year, according to police data.